She calls me day and night Hey friends, I'm Gabby. Today I'm gonna go to two different libraries near me and I'm looking for horror books and literary fiction books primarily. In the category of horror, I'm interested in finding those 80s horror books with the awesome covers. The ones that I used to read when I was in middle school and got into the horror genre. I'm really excited to find some of those because I haven't read any of those like Fear Street, R.L. Stein, um, Christopher Pike books since I was like 13 years old. Now probably a little older because I remember I had a couple when I was in high school and I really enjoy reading them. So that is what I'm looking to find today at the library. The first one that I'm going to go to is about 20 minutes away from the city that I live in. I'm going to go to that first then I'm going to go to the one that's closest to me and yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along we're gonna see what i am able to find at the library everything she created a life she built on top of the secret she tried to keep hidden it was all evaporating right before her eyes it's going to be okay andrew said to her in the elevator say nothing do you hear me nothing fred will meet you at the police station we'll get you the best attorney don't worry i've been thinking about myself today how I changed How I really don't care if you are here or if you don't stay Now I'm feeling those winter blues But I don't want to cry Cause all we ever do is laugh it off and I'm sick and I don't know why Do you remember that night we met? Thought you looked so fine Guess we have to agree to disagree For this one last time Pretty weird that day when we did not exchange our hellos I wasn't looking out for you I'm sorry, I'm so shallow I'm still looking forward to watching part two. So I just got out of the first library and there I managed to find five books. I think these are all horror pretty much. Um, we have Near the Bone by Christina Henry. I'm reading one of her books right now but I haven't finished it so I want to read more. I have Devil House by John Daniel. I've never read anything by this author but the cover looks interesting. It's a horror book. I haven't seen the best reviews for it, but I'm still intrigued, so I got that. I got Split Tooth by Tanya Tagak. This is a gorgeous book. I was looking through this and I saw that there's some pages that are written like almost like a poetry format. And I think this is kind of autobiographical, kind of like a memoir, but with a some fiction so i don't know i'm intrigued by that concept i got a paul tremblay this is disappearance at devil's rock i recently read a paul tremblay the cabin at the end of the world and really enjoyed it so i definitely want to read more from that author and i also got the lost girl by rl stein this is part of the fear street novels i don't know if this is an old one or more of a new one but i'm still interested in checking those out i haven't read fear street like i said before probably since i was around 16 17 years old so it's been a while and yeah i'm excited with this little haul we're at the next location which is the library in my city the one where i'm soon going to be working at so here i'm gonna drop off some books and see what they have like i said before i really want to get some christopher pike books i love those covers they give me all the 80s vibes and i really want to read some before spooky season starts so yeah that's what i'm gonna look for at this specific library wish me luck i'm looking kind of sweaty friends but you know i'm just gonna go with it i didn't film anything at this library i just went in there pretty fast i returned the books that i needed needed to return there were no christopher pike books i mean 
actually I found two but I didn't really feel like checking those out online I had seen that they had a few and I don't know maybe I just didn't look in the right place or maybe they're all checked out I don't know what's going on but I didn't end up getting any Christopher Pike at this library I only got two books I got a romance which I wasn't really um hoping to find any romances but you know here we are this is the fine print by lauren asher and i think this is a series called the dreamland billionaires i don't really know much about this yesterday i think i saw this book mentioned in uh in like an instagram template how many romance books have you read and this one was on there it, to be honest it kind of looks like something that would be popular on tiktok so i don't know but i'm willing to give it a try and then i also ended up getting a cj cookbook and it's lighthouse or the lighthouse witches this is another that i read one once before back in 2020 and I really enjoyed so I got this book and I think that's gonna be probably like a gothic thriller mystery maybe horror not really sure but it looks fun that's gonna be it for this very short I don't know vlog come to the library with me thank you guys for joining me let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see more of these type of videos if you would be interested in seeing like library book hauls is that a thing i don't know i'm also going to be leaving my social media links down in the description box if you want to check those out i have ig i have instagram i have tiktok I'm on Goodreads so yeah thank you so much for joining me for this one as always sending you loads of positive vibes and I will see you in the next one bye